PC by your boy Let's Talk. We back with another video. All right, y'all. Let's jump right into this video, man. While I'm out here walking, uh, I'm not getting my steps in right now. Well, technically, I am getting steps in, but not for the purposes of trying to exercise. I'm just uh, on my way to the store real fast. But I wanted to talk to y'all for a second. Um, so. <laughs> have y'all seen the thing with Lord Jamar? Um, he was forced, in my opinion, he was forced to apologize to Kamala Harris. Kamala Harris, whatever you want to call her. Uh, he was forced to apologize to her. And what I mean is, um, not too long ago, uh, a few days ago actually, or last week, you know, he's been like going viral because... He had did an interview and they were talking about, you know, the election and Donald Trump and Kamala, Kamala. And um, he just was saying like how everyone else was saying, like he's not buying the BS, that she's not for the black people. She's technically not even black and she don't care about our issues and all that stuff and everything. And he was getting real passionate about it. And he actually called the, like, he called the, the B word or whatever. And was saying that he messed around and vote for Trump. So that was the big thing. Because, like, years ago, he used to talk about Donald Trump in a negative way. But now he, like, you know, uh, Trump doing good. Trump did good. And he wants to do great again. So y'all messing around had me vote for him. So afterwards, he's... Been, Hey, so afterwards, he's been getting a lot of slack, and um, uh, I guess he's been getting so much slack that he actually did a live where he was talking about it, and he actually apologized and said stuff like, you know, um, like, I'm paraphrasing, but pretty much the gist of it was... You know, he shouldn't have said what he said, or even if he feel the way he feels, better ways he could go about it and all that stuff. Which, I mean, to be fair, it is true. You know, like, that that is correct. But at the same time, it's like, why did you, why are you apologizing now? Because you're not po apologizing on your own. You're not doing it because you want to apologize, because you, you truly felt sorry. And he's like, you know what? I shouldn't have said that about that lady. So let me, you know, do a public apology. That's not what you did. Not on your own. He was forced to. He got he got pressed. He got that phone call. Kind of like with, what's the guy? Wendell Pierce. How Barack Obama, you know, pressed him. He said something about Barack. And then he got that phone call. And now he took it back. I'm going to make a video about that too. But it's the same thing. And... When you like see stuff like this, it's like, all right, it kind of makes you lose respect a little bit for these people because like, you're not really standing on what you believe on. People always say they stand on this, they stand on that, or whatever. But then when they get pressed or like when, when it really gets real, you see what their true character is. You see if they really, really stand on business or they don't. <laughs> And a lot of people don't really stand on business, as they say. And it's not to mean you got to be tough and got something to prove. But no, if you truly believe something to your core that's right, I mean, ex exclude the B word type thing. But everything else he was saying was absolutely right. And it was like he just was apologizing for it all. And I'm like, no, you don't do that, bro. It was <laughs> like, because... Now it's like, did you really mean what you said in the beginning? Like, nobody can, won't be able to take you seriously if it's like that. So that's why I say, like, it's, it's a crazy situation. And it just makes me, you know, realize that a lot of these public figures, these influencers, these uh, celebrities, they're bored and paid. Because they can't do what they want. You got some people who don't care. People like Cat Williams and stuff, like he's proven that he's not bored and paid. He's been canceled several times. 
but he he not to make his own money. So he's good. He don't care about saying certain things. But people like other people, like Lord Jamar and all these other guys, yeah, they can't really say nothing. So, you know, it's sad, but it is what it is. But let me know what y'all think. Drop your comments down below. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell. I'll see y'all the next one. Peace.